Now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hook up. Get ready for more of the best fishing information and the hottest tips on improving your angling skills. Let's talk hook up is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hook Up. Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. And by Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. And now, Southern California's sports fishing voice, the hosts of Let's Talk Hook Up, Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. And welcome back, hour number two. Let's Talk Hook Up right here on the Let's Talk Hook Up app and radio network. Pete Gray here, Rock Cod Rick Maxa here too. We're here broadcasting live from the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hook Up at a busy San Diego landing right here next to the landings here watching. Did you say 10 boats? Seven boats. Seven, seven, seven long range boats. Yeah. I saw the Independence. I saw the Player Supreme. I saw. Saw the Shogun. Yep. I saw the Royal Star. Yeah. Um, who else is out oh, there? I saw the, the Vagabond, pulling. the Rooster, Red Rooster Three. Um, <laughs> I don't know who else is coming and, and, in too. And like you say though, that's just long range boats. So think yeah. about all the day and a half guys that are coming it's in. It's a this busy morning. time like, of year. Yeah, it is buzzing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You want to see some action? Come on yeah, down to exactly. the San Diego landings right now. We have a great show g- going on. Darren Doy from Sato uh, Linewinder, Sato Crimp System, uh, Swifty Linewinder, Three Ten Rod Works. What else? I'm <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think you got you Got it. Huh? Good start. <laughs> and Darren has, has is bearing gifts oh, on our tw- on our 29th anniversary today. Uh, we're g- going to have a fantastic prize today. Yeah, right? you're uh, yeah, you're not kidding. And so generous. We're really stoked. If you didn't catch the beginning of the show, Darren's giving away a brand new Sato line winder system to somebody at the end of the show today. Uh, a fantastic prize, and we're really excited to get to give that away. We've been talking about it all morning. So yeah, a, a great prize. In addition to that, he brought in a bunch of other stuff that we'll be getting to give away during other shows. Shows, some uh, Sato crimp um, kit systems, some Swifty line spools, just a, a bunch of really great stuff, and we're so stoked on that. But yeah, one lucky caller at the end of the show today is going to win a Sato line winder kit. Give us a call this morning if you want to get through. It has been a very busy morning. Every single phone line is full right now, but we're going to be taking a lot of phone calls in this second hour. 833-288-0973. One more time, 833-288-0973. Not only your chance at winning that great prize, but Better yet, your chance to talk to Darren. Yeah, indeed. And uh, speaking of long range and the Royal Star, the Royal Star actually has a couple of spots open on a couple of seven-day trips, prime time seven-day trips, uh, September September 26th to October 3rd and October 3rd through the 10th, which is limited to 20 anglers. Now, oh, Royal yeah. Star is only taking 22 right now anyway, but this one's uh, limited to 20, October 3rd through the 10th. So if you want to go on one of these two trips, very rare that they have an opening especially during prime time yeah. right now uh check uh, royalstarsportfishing.com or just give tracy a call in the office there of the royal star and she'll set you up we get questions all the time about people wanting to catch a wahoo that's like such a fish that a lot of people want to knock off their bucket list you want to talk about a great time to oh, be yeah. going seven oh, yeah. day royal right? star right now you're a royal star to- fan oh, yeah. i know darren Absolutely. right <laughs> yeah you've been fishing on the boat for sure uh, or let's find out what's biting you got it man it's time for the catch port which today is sponsored by the fish pro at Fisherman's Processing in San Diego. Not only do they offer the best processing for your fish when your trip returns to the San Diego landings, as well as your private boat catch, now with Fish Pros the market, you can purchase fresh fish, smoked and jerkied fish, their spices rubbed, smoked cheese, and their famous tuna burgers. Also, check out the amazing Pokey Kit. It's all available at their convenient Liberty Station location or order online at Fisherman'sProcessing.com. We're going to start off our catch report with our buddy, Captain Mark Wish, our private boater buddy at Pacific Edge. Good morning, Mark. Hey, good morning, Ricky, Pete, Darren. Great show here today. So, guys, for those that were willing to do the distance this week and deal with some weather, uh, there was some absolutely spectacular offshore fishing, both at the islands and in the open water, of course. So this week I'm going to start at SBI. That little island up there really produced some world-class yelltail fishing earlier in the week there, Southern California fishing at its absolute finest. You got biting big fish and bad bottom hooked together <laughs> and made for oh, some challenges wow. but yeah there was just a beautiful grade of fish and they were really biting biting fly line sardines or siren a little bit on the yo-yo it was just good fishing and uh but it was best early in the week and slower the last couple of days still around there but you know a little slower and what's interesting is, is that uh, santa barbara island slowed down catalina had kind of a resurgence on their yelltail fishing over there so it's almost like some of that 
uh, fish made a little move there. Uh, it seems like it's kind of filtering into Catalina. We'll see. But the grade of fish was the same. They're all they're all big ones, so we'll see what happens there. Backside west and then uh, frontside middle yesterday from the Hotel Point down towards Toyon. All the structure spots had some of that better grade fish on it there. Did not hear much from Clemente proper this week. Um, not surprising as the uh, tuna fish action on the back there kind of overshadowed the uh, kelp lines for sure. But, oh, my God, that tuna fishing has just been spectacular around the back there. You know, it's not up every day, of course. That's just tuna being tuna. But but uh, what's interesting now is we got a new player in the mix. I'll mention that here in a minute. But I was out there Wednesday with some friends, and that was a day that Wendy really missed on the windy forecast. Oh, God, butt kick coming home. But, oh. but uh 30 to 40 pound bluefin were all over the middle of the back just foamers as far as the eye could see kind of midday there and it, it was actually biting it was kind of fun and we had some on bait surf siren and uh on poppers you know i was fishing that chuck norris popper by nomad you know their yeah. claim is that it stays Good in the water a little better and oh i love that thing so did the blue it works, huh? yeah. <laughs> it does stay in the water well yeah i'm having the evidence for dinner tonight here uh, <laughs> yeah we we had some good fishing but what's interesting is some of that that fish it, it split from where we were which is kind of middle of the back it it crept up above the uh west end of clemente some of the guys were up there eight ten even 12 miles and mixed in with that bluefin which was mostly 25 to 40 is some of that big gray guadalupe island style yellow fin 40 to 70 pounders some of my friends a couple days earlier had hit some porpoise schools that had 70 pound yellowfin in it but it's all hanging out up there together right now it's just going to be a spectacular fall fishing that yellowfin and but the big fish seems like that stuff slid down a little bit kind of slid down around the 381 guys found it down that way and stay late guys you got to stay late for them big ones fishing the dark if you can fishing them flat falls there were some big hits on the flat falls here recently so I don't even have time to talk about marlin swordfish and all that <laughs> and Dorado. And, you know, you going to give me another five minutes, Pete? Yeah, well, uh, you fill crazy. us in a little bit more. Mark, that's, that's really good dope you gave there. Like if, if, uh, if somebody's listening, that big fish is biting so much better in the evening and like the last couple hours. So if your style is to leave, you know, it real early in the morning and come back late, just do yourself a favor do a gentleman's launch leave later and stay later I, yeah. mean, I know navigating in the dark is never nice but if your goal is to catch a big one the the last hour is just man that That's is when magic, those things right? want to chew yeah it's uh it, it's just amazing how the setup is looking with with all that fish it's down the beach you know it's not that far it's below the 302 371 425 i mean all that yellowtail and yellow fin which is getting a little bigger and all that dorado that's on the kelps down there those guys are mopping them up and you know we got marlin scattered all over the place swordfish bit pretty good here for the deep drop guys this week it's just i can't wait to keep <laughs> fishing through this fall and early winter it's this is our time of the year yeah, right no and doubt. of course oh, danny and God. jeff and the yeah. danny jeff and the boys at fishdope.com are doing such a great job uh keeping people posted keeping people on the fish and weather and all the different uh new uh, features they have on fishdope.com 20 bucks off a new membership to fishdope.com using the code hookup now lowercase no space hookup now is your 20 dollar code and Mark, how do we find you for the world's greatest bait tanks? Oh, B, we're in the uh, we're in Huntington Beach. We're on the corner of Bolsa Chica and Edinger. Phone number at the store is area code seven one four eight four zero four two six two. The website's PacificEdgeTackle.com. And we are going to be closed for a couple hours midday today. We are going to watch a special rally down in the harbor here. So going to uh, take a couple midday hours off today cool well deserved all right well enjoy that and uh we will talk to you next saturday with uh, who knows what (laughs) kind of report you know i I, you know i like to say it's getting better and better but honestly god (laughs) I don't know how much better it can get, yeah. but somebody gets one of those wahoos on a marauder like you were talking about. It, it could earlier. happen. It could happen. It, it could happen, yeah. Yeah, Pretty indeed. Hard to say. Anyway, Thanks, Mark. We'll talk to you next week, guys. Appreciate that. Now, while we're waiting for Marcos at Sea Forest Sport Fishing, Jerry and Whittier sent us a, Whittier <laughs> sent us a text here. And when using the new 310 glue and using the Sato crimps, how far do you recommend inserting the mono or fluoro into the hollow spectra? 
Also, would you use one or two crimps before tack glue? It was standard to insert four or five feet double crimp. You know, I'm I'm more of a three to four foot insertion kind of guy. Okay, you like that um, <clears throat> I don't know that uh, I don't know that it would hurt you to go a little bit shorter than that. I just can't stand doing that insertion out to four and five feet. That's just too much. That's a too lot. Too much work. Yeah. So, so what um, would be it, the minimum? You know, I would I would say that uh, it would be safe probably around two feet. Yeah. Uh, just knowing how the crimp system works, uh, I can't imagine that you would have very much slippage at all, mm -hmm. uh, even through the course of a battle of a, uh, of a big fish. But uh, I would say at least a couple of feet, you would want to have it inserted. And uh, using one crimp has been the standard, but I know that a lot of guys use two. Two. Um, and then the tack glue, too. Tack glue. Yeah. 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 So you use the crimps and the tack glue, and yeah. that just gives you a little extra security. Yeah, that's, that's really all it boils down to, um, just securing that, that uh, leader insertion so that you don't, e even if you do have a, a slight bit of, of movement on that leader material, it's going to stop it by having that, uh, that tack glue on there. So right. The strength in that connection is in the <clears throat> friction. It's the friction right. of the mono or fluorocarbene being up inside of your Power Pro. Like, that's yeah. where the strength comes in. Why are the Sato is so good is it is a mechanical, connector that's and right. that's going to keep you know that's just going to keep things from moving if, if that thing was held under perfect steady pressure with no head shakes and tail beats and <laughs> rod lifts and up and down you wouldn't need anything yeah but that's just not how it works you know that's fish right. move around there's water there's lubrication you know there's all kinds of things that can allow it and and that sato crimp is a mechanical connector that doesn't allow that slippage to happen it's, and then it's kind of like a like that, what you'd put on a pipe it's just like a, a pipe clamp or something exactly like that. Yeah. yeah exactly yeah. everything steady and perfect in a lab, it's not. It wouldn't need anything, but that's just not how fishing yeah. works. But the glue and the crimp are just, you know, the, the the crimp is really all you need. But that glue is just yet another safety right. factor. And when we're talking about potentially hundred and two hundred and three hundred pounders. Why would you not? You know, exactly. why would you not go an extra six inches of insertion? It, and why would you not maybe throw an extra crimp on there? It's exactly. all just fail safes. Exactly. Indeed. Well, well, well there we have There's Marcos. Boy. Marcos on the radio <laughs> is here. Marcos from Sea Force Sport Fishing. Good morning. Hey, Marcos. Good morning, guys. How's everyone doing today? What's up, buddy? Uh, some great fishing coming through this week, which I mean, yeah. in September we kind of kind of expect, but it's always nice to be able to confirm it there. Some very good fishing on the half day. They're starting to see a lot more calico bass, some bonito in there. Saw a few yelltail during the week there. Very good fishing on those half day trips. The full day is not seeing quite the amount of dorado we saw last week, but lots of yellowfin, skipjack, yellowtail. Nice mix of fish on those full days, and a few of the boats did catch some dorado, so it's great fishing. I mean, it's September on, again, full day trip, and you're talking, you don't even have to spend a night out there, and you're going to get a shot at all those fish, yellowfin, dorado, skipjack, yellowtail. Good fishing there, those overnight trips, the one day is in half longer, still seeing yellowfin, dorado, some bluefin in the mix there. Uh, some bigger fish in the mix there, some 100-pound plus fish on those bluefin, so great fishing. And, you know, as long as you, as long as you can get free, staying safe out there, we'd love to have you guys come down and get on the boat there. So check out the schedule, seaforthlanding.com. Have our full schedules up there for the half days, the full days, the overnights, one days. We've got some longer trips up there coming up, so definitely check that out. You can make reservations directly online there. You can always give us a call at the office, 619-224-3383 can come down visit us in person check out the tackle shop get your gear and get out there fishing and like we talk about every year september october will become some of our best fishing yeah. and especially taking into account the limited capacity all these boats are running on trips are still filling up really quickly especially on the weekends so definitely plan ahead and make those reservations because we'd love to get you out there but Everybody wants to go fishing right now, so you're going to yeah. be fighting that. And, yeah. you know, so. Don't think you can just so, show up and hop on the, the, exactly. hot, the hot boat. You need, to, you need to do a little preparation. Absolutely not. And like I said, this year, especially more so than other years with those limited capacities on the boat. So definitely check the website. Give us a call. Come down, visit us in person. Make those reservations. And get your gear and go out there fishing because there's a lot of good fishing going on right now. Great Indeed. call, Marcos. Appreciate it. Great report as always. And we will look forward to talking to you next week. 
I'll talk to you then, guys. All right. Thanks, thanks a lot, Marcos. Marcos. All right. That's going to wrap up our catch report today. Again, Gamakatsu Nautilus Circle Hooks have become the go-to hook this season for the tuna. They may offer for everything from that Nautilus Lite, the regular Nautilus, or the brand new Nautilus HD. Gamakatsu has got you covered. Pick the right size, ring your non-ring, tie it on, and be ready to get bit. Stock up on Gamakatsu Nautilus Hooks now. It's available at selected tackle stores. Yeah, indeed. And uh, we're going to hear from Ted from Gamakatsu later in the show with oh, some cool. new product they have uh, coming out. So nice. some pretty exciting stuff. So uh, stay tuned for that. In the meantime, let's go ahead and jump into those jam-packed phone lines, Rich. Phones are packed. Let's talk to Rich calling from Bradley this morning. Hi, Rich. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning. As a as an enthusiastic uh, fan of Let's Talk Hookup, and we're, while we're celebrating the anniversary of Let's Talk Hookup and looking at the at the exponential growth of 310 Rod Works, I'm reminded that we're in the land of opportunity and liberty, and God bless America. Uh, my question for today is about the the crimp. When uh, when do we get away from um, line uh, knot connections when would you not feel comfortable with a, a line knot connection and then on the other side of the spectrum what uh, what is the minimum size line that you would want to uh, go to the crimp you know uh, that that is a fantastic question yeah. actually one that's so important today uh, when the original crimp dimensions were called out for the production of the the crimps Line was very different then, uh, and di- diameters were very different then. And so what's, what's so important is to properly size your crimp to your line. Now, one of the things that makes the Sato crimp system so good is that it's such a low-profile uh, connection as it's going through your guides. So when you have like an 80-pound floral leader and solid spectra and you need to make a knot, you know for sure when that knot goes through the guides. <laughs> it is going to chunk through the guides and you're going to hear it and feel it. Well, when you switch over to hollow spectra, even add an 80-pound test size, um, you can have a very smooth transition out through the guides, no problems. And and honestly, I, I think it even helps the, the bait uh, move around in the water when you're fly lining. So I say that when you have 80 pound or above, you probably should be using the crimp system. Um, I actually use it all the way down to 50 pound, but you really have to be careful in sizing the crimps down at that 50 pound mark. Now, one of the things that we have been working on most recently is that lighter line connection because we know so many guys are out there fishing bluefin. The bluefin are finicky. You know, you don't want to use a real heavy line, but you want to have a a 100% connection or or as close to it as you can. And so this crimping system down into that 50-pound range is awfully good. As long as you learn to do it, as long as you learn uh, which size crimp to use with the leader material and uh, spectra size that you have, I don't know that it can be beat. And as far as speed for getting the insertion done and, and actually getting it terminated, man, it, it is really, really fast. No question that's about it. That's why we it. use it. I mean, it's, it's, and it's easy, too. And it's easy. Once you get it. It's e- even yeah. I can do it. That's what I like about it. When we're, you know, we we do at Fisherman's Lining Tackle, we do a lot of big fish connections. That's what we do. We're on the doorstep of the long range fleet. And the thing I like so much about it is, one, it's it's 100 percent. It's tested by all of our long range boats. Um, it's the fastest thing for us to use. So as far as us behind the counter getting multiple reels done, it's very quick and it's very easy, you know, with limited, you know, with just one person showing you a couple of times, you can instantly become an expert. And so even our guys that are coming in for the first time working their first summer can very confidently do somebody's big fish connection and know that if they hook a 300 pounder, that connection's going to hold every time. And Darren, you said the new pliers are even easier than the old pliers. They're even, they make the connection even easier because we've gone away from the tapered bore uh, plier where you literally had to do two compressions on a single crimp at 90 degrees to each other Mm -hmm. literally now once you have your crimp set in position and with the pliers that we have specced out you literally make one compression right in the center of the crimp 
and you're done. Wow. It's done. Squeeze the tool one time. One time, over. as far as it goes down, you don't have to mash it with like 40, you know, 40 pounds of pressure on the crimping plier. You literally just handshake that thing and it's done. And you do it down to 40 pound test too. We actually, we, because the 40 pound is so small, it's really hard to use 40 pound crimps. We have them. If you want to use them, absolutely go ahead. But because the 40 pound has gotten so small today, <laughs> I wouldn't you gotta say be that, careful. that would, right. I wouldn't say that that would be a, a average anglers uh, in, in their comfort zone. Okay. I've done it with great success. And, and like I said, it's so easy to get that connection through the guides. You, you just don't have the yeah. issues. There's no knot. There's no knot. Up. There's yeah. nothing there. And, you know, you just, fly line, and, and, and we all know now it's been picking the right bait yeah, and stealth, light line yeah. and the stealth approach. That, and that's the way to get it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. For sure. Hey, um, thanks a lot for the phone call that's this morning. Call. Appreciate that. Really good. We have a, a good question uh, on the Let's Talk Hookup app, the texting option. And uh, this is an angler that says, I'm sold i'll take one of the kits for three hundred dollars <laughs> is it best to call darren or do i get it at retail like at fisherman's landing no you would have to get those uh first 20 come directly from me from you okay so this is a special offer special just for offer our offer only only the first 20 that's great and so yeah. uh, again it's a 450 dollar the sato uh line winder with the board right the only thing you need to do is add the drill right and and, and i'm telling you this is the stuff um so just go through you yeah, yeah yeah just contact me directly either by facebook or on my telephone lines and you can actually yeah. email me at 310 rodworks at gmail.com you're gonna have a busy monday Three, I, think, I think so yeah, i think you're gonna have a busy monday. I think and so. you'll, <laughs> ship, you'll ship it to them absolutely yeah. shipping is extra okay. you'll have to pay for the shipping but absolutely we can ship yeah. it out to you but if in southern california it's not going to be it's that big not deal. very much money at all yeah not when yeah. you're getting a line winder for 300 bucks <laughs> yeah <That's> a line, <laughs> a, a, like a two thousand yeah, dollar line winder that's what i'm saying bucks, yeah right <laughs> we yeah. spent over five grand it's, on our line winders oh yeah, yeah. landing and this will do the same thing it'll do big reels yep the only thing it won't do is spinning reels it won't do spinning reels, yeah. and uh, right. on the bigger reels like the 70s and 80s, it it, it doesn't have the height it uh, for the handle throw. The handle, you, you so can't up to get, a 50 size, up to reel. a 50 or 50 yeah. wide size. Yeah. yeah, all right, good deal. That's cool. All right, and and, and what? Give your number just so people know. Three one zero, eight one seven. Five one four five. Okay, very good. All right, let's go ahead and uh, jump back on the phone. You got it, buddy. Brian and Wildemar is up next on Let's Talk Hook Up. Hey, Brian. Good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Happy anniversary to my uh, second wife on Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> uh, must be talking about Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, what's up, buddy? Um, you know what? Uh, speaking of filling all these reels with the extra uh, line winder, I want to know, what do you put under on the spool? Is it Good electrical question. tape? Question. Is it the blue sticky tape? Do you always do the T9, the boss ditch T9? Like, what do you guys suggest? You know, when I fill reels myself, I actually just use the electrical tape underneath it. Uh, I tie a, basically a San Diego knot at the bottom of my line, and I pull that sucker tight. Um, I have used the blue tape in the past, but honestly, it gets messy uh, at, over time. And so I really have gotten away from that. I really use uh, more of the electrical tape. And there, there's probably several other products out there. Um, in my rod building shop, I use a product called Friction Tape, which probably would do even better than regular electrical tape. But uh, I've, I, used, I've uh, never duct had duct tape before. Is that duct work? tape will yeah. do. What do you use in the shop? Ricky? I like the flex wrap. He's flex right. It, it gets gummy but it's got such good traction yeah. you know, and that's what we're always going for like um if if you have the advantage of having the swifty kit we're now you know halfway through the life of the line you f you flip flop it and you you know you put the bottom on the top you'll probably have to remove about 10 or 15 yards because the over time that line it just kind of gets gummy and it'll it'll make your line blue but for us it's it, it adheres so tight to the spool and it's so tacky that yeah. we think that the grip is the best out of that blue finger tape so, yeah. so we should we, we should explain for what people don't 
don't know. Um, spectra is slippery, and oh, if very. you put it straight to metal on the bottom of the spool, it's, it's the whole thing is going to turn. Right. And that's not what you want. Right. Yeah. You know, you don't want that. So you want it to grip and something to stay, bite on something to bite on, something to stay yeah. on the spool. And yeah. it's also really important using the proper line winder to get that line on very tight. Right. I, I've actually seen some of the line winders that are on the market today not capable of applying enough pressure to yeah, the reel to totally. wind it on uh, tight enough. And that's the one beauty of the Sato winder is that it's using a drill motor that has more than enough torque to oh, create yeah. enough pressure to wind it on. And so it's a very simple way to do your spectra winding. Sometimes when I'm using the Sato line winder, I'm thinking, am I putting too much? Am, am, am yeah. I making it too tight <laughs> yeah. here? Is, it, the, is yeah. it possible to get it I, too tight? You know what? I've actually seen it with my own line winder, not necessarily me winding the line, but I've had friends use my winder and they put it on so tight that there's actually too much line on once they start well, fishing. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you try and fish, it's like, well, it's well, not where all this line yeah. better be on your yeah. game stack. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sure. Hey, uh, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Scott Sherman's on the line. Good morning, Scott. Hey, Scott. Hey, morning, guys. Boy, I uh, just wanted to say congratulations, Pete, on 29 years, man. That's a, it's been a, a very good show and a big part of my, my fishing life. And I just wanted to say thank you. I mean, just to give you an idea, the other day uh, I called in and was asking about the sinker rig and the which best way to fish it, and your guest gave me a couple of tips, went out the next day and just slammed them on the sinker rig. So, I mean, nice. the information yeah. you guys put out is just amazing. Well, thanks. And you've been an important part of that, Scott, uh, with uh, yourself and your your inputs, as well as uh, your sponsorship with Fifth Avenue Insurance and Snap Insurance now. it's uh, You've been a, a great part of Let's Talk Hookup, and we appreciate that. Yeah, it's been about a decade now, so we've been having fun. And yeah. hey, uh, <laughs> Yesterday, was the, the fishing's been pretty amazing out there. Last week was Limit the Dorado went out yesterday and found a, a patty that was filled with a bunch of the smaller yellowtail and uh, grabbed the bass rod, threw it out, and instantly hooked up on a on a twenty pound uh, yellowtail that was a whole bunch of fun on the light tackle. Buddy. It, it's amazing how the twenty pounder knows how to bite when you're catching nothing but five pounders and you decide to throw some fifteen pound in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was just just amazing. And then uh, on the the uh, winder and the crimp system what's the the lightest that you can go with those crimp systems because i like yesterday we got into a bunch of uh yellow fin and boy they would eat every piece of chum chum you would throw in the water and they wouldn't touch anything with a hook in it and i was just wondering what's the lightest line you can go on that system you know, I we we had just uh, just talked about that one issue in that uh, the forty we make a forty pound crimp. Um, it was designed for forty pound about fifteen years ago, and so diameters of line have changed so much. Um, you have to be very careful as far as how you apply that small, small crimp. For one, it's really difficult to do the insertion. You have to have hollow spectra, uh, so. If you're able to actually size that up properly, properly, like if you were using Iser Blue, Blue Iser, it would probably fit 40 pound. But if you go to some of these newer fluorocarbon Cigar leader Premier, materials, Seaguar Premier, where it's very thin, it probably won't grab it tight enough and i would i would just caution everybody from going down too far with this um there are other options for using hollow braid to a very light uh leader. and what do you use i actually uh use a lot of sunline fluorocarbon okay so uh, up to up down to 40 pound i still crimp it because it fits properly okay but uh, everything and what about above below that, that below that i use a pinion knot Okay, Tony Pena. I, okay. I just use a pinion knot, and and on that lighter line, it seems to go through the guides fine. You know, there's there's plenty of options, uh, and I always when I'm talking to people about doing connections, especially as it relates to sato crimping, it's not necessarily for every single application. Right. So when you're doing your connections, you've got to be confident in it. I don't care which knot you tie. I don't care if it's a FG, a RP, a PR, a, a pinion knot, or or or. Any any of the other ones, whichever one you're the most comfortable and confident in is the one you have to tie because 
too many fish get lost yeah. to bad connections. Any any good knot tied incorrectly will fail. You know, it doesn't <laughs> matter right. how good the knot is. If you don't do it right, it's going to let loose. A- absolutely. And we hate to see that. We hate to see that. Hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way, including a big block of your phone calls. You stay tuned. You're listening to Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and radio network. This is Captain Art Taylor of The Searcher. 2020 is the golden anniversary of Cape Polaris and Searcher. Come help us celebrate 50 amazing years in sport fishing. Searcher has a great crew, awesome food, air-conditioned cabins and galley, and an RSW system to preserve your catch. Our 2020 schedule is available now, so this is a golden opportunity to make your reservation online at searchersportfishing.com or call Celia or Callie at 619-226-2400. A top fleet and superb fishing is what Seaforth Sport Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, it's no wonder Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, El Gato Dos, Pride, Tribute, Pacifica, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus the new Seaforth, Sea-Watch, and San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. For charters or regular open party schedule, check Seaforth. Seaforthlanding.com, run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay. It's another innovation from Seaguar, the proven leader in saltwater leader material. Introducing new Gold Label Leader. It's Seaguar's thinnest leader material yet, 18% thinner and 17% stronger than any other Seaguar leader. That means it's even less visible underwater and creates more natural presentations for better catch rates in clear water and on leader shy fish. New Gold Label is made with exclusive Seaguar fluorocarbon resins in a double structure process which provides exceptional knot and tensile strength. Yet it's soft and sensitive inches easily for fail-safe knots. Get Seaguar Gold Label at your favorite tackle dealer or learn more at Seaguar.com. It's time to talk about fishing, wide open fishing, <laughs> and we always know it's wide open at Point Loma Seafoods right next to the San Diego landings in Point Loma. It's always biting there. Always, always biting. biting. You were there yesterday. Was, what, <laughs> what'd you have? Uh, yesterday I did uh, I did the combo plate, which I don't normally do. A little bit of everything. I, I truly couldn't decide. It's been a while since I had been down to Point Loma Seafoods, and so I went combo plate. Uh, Dallas did the seared ahi salad those are our two those probably are two favorites that's good stuff and of course the best sushi uh, lunch dinner or you want to take it home there nobody has a case of fresh fish crab lobster everything like point loma seafoods uh when when it's biting it's biting at point loma seafoods they have an array of fish that will just boggle your mind you the hard part is to decide what to take home (laughs) we have a little party going on today so we picked up a couple of things of ceviche a couple of things of tuna salad a couple of things of their salad Also, their fresh-made chips that they do. Yeah, we got a little party pack. Yeah, very good. Check it out. Point Loma Seafoods right next to the San Diego Landings in Point Loma. Gotta love California in the summer. Just remember, COVID is still with us. So if you're going to the water, plan ahead. Follow local public health guidelines and make sure everyone wears a life jacket. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. One of the dream trips for most anglers is Alaska. There are so many lodges, how do you make a choice? It's easy. Choose the one most Let's Talk Hookup listeners return to time after time. Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, and the finest charter captains in Sitka. All for the ultimate value. One visit and you will understand why nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. Sitka is famous for some of the best runs of salmon in Alaska. And if giant Alaskan halibut is your target, the expert captains at Kingfisher Charters know the hot spots and can put you on a fish of a lifetime. Plenty of rockfish and huge ling cod are there too. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. It's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except tips. It is truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Kingfisher Charters, 800 727 6136 or check kingfishercharters.com Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Having a great time here with Darren Doy this morning. 310 Rodworks. We're talking Swifty. We're talking Sato. And we're talking to you, man. Been a very, very busy morning. If you want to get through, give us a call. 833-288-0973. Indeed. And don't forget the text option. You want to text us? Uh, of course, don't forget, only the callers are eligible for the prize. Uh, we're giving away a Sato yeah. line winder <laughs> How kit. How crazy is that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, unbelievable. Thanks a lot. So one lucky caller is going to win it. But if you want to text us, 
this, have a question for Darren, uh, make a comment. Uh, it's easy. Just go to our Let's Talk Hookup app and hit the text option, and uh, we'll get an email. And we can't respond. We need your name. We can't respond to the emails, but we'll see it. So uh, uh, thanks a lot for all the people that are doing that. And we can't get to them all. Right. We get dozens. We get, like, I don't know like a hundred during the show and we try and pick some of the good ones. We don't pick all the good ones, but we try and do our best yeah. to get the, pick the good ones. And uh, so we're, we're not ignoring you if we don't take your text. It's just, uh, we, we, we like to look through them and, and, and get the best ones that only relate got, to it. Only have two hours. That's it. <laughs> yeah. We have six hours. Maybe we can get to them all. <laughs> Indeed. Hey, right now, Ted from Gamakatsu is on the line. Good morning, Ted. Good morning, guys. How are you today? Hey, hey doing terrific. Now, Gamakatsu's been killing it here with new product, and you got a couple new ones to talk about today, right? Yeah, we've got a lot going on. Boy, we've been a, our product development team has been really busy, and uh, we've got some great stuff coming out for all the all the listeners and all the all the, all the anglers out there. So we're really excited to kind of uh, talk about a few things today. So. Um, First thing, um, one of the coolest things that uh, we've been doing that I've been pretty excited about is tackle storage. You know, there's just so many options when it comes to tackle storage. And we got to thinking that there's really not a, a, a real good uh, lightweight, you know, plastic style uh, hard case box out there. And so uh, we went to work on that uh, and, and came up with this GK7000. And I know we sent a sample down to, to you, Pete. I know you've yes. had some chance to kind of play around with it. I have. So what are your thoughts? I, I think it's great. I mean, it, there's, there, it's, 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 a, it's a great tackle box that like a big a lar not big but large enough tackle box that's lightweight it opens on both sides so you can either open it one side or the other or take the lid off completely and then the other thing too is you can put uh it has optional rod storage so you can put one two rods on the side and put your rod in there and do your work on the rod or you can take that off you that also has a little container where you can put your jigs into and let them dry out and have your jigs right there on the outside it's it's really well done it's cool it's like very modular yeah you know, like whatever whatever you want to you know you you buy the base box and then whatever clips and things you want to add to it you can right. do so we, we love them we've got them in the tackle store also you like, do yeah, yeah we, we already have one as soon as uh as soon as rick brought the sample down we just oh yeah we're, we're in we're yeah. in on that it's super lightweight and like you say if you want if you're a guy that wants rocket launchers you clip them onto the side if you want yeah. to do jig storage you do that if you want bucket style storage you do that it's and it's, you don't uh, want any of it you just don't clip them on exactly and you just use it for tackle yeah storage. it's really cool ted you guys really great, well done you guys did a really good job really well done we love well it. thanks guys it was uh, it was a collaborative effort on the whole team's part and and that, that's the coolest part about it too because you know we're all fishermen and you know everybody's got a little different way that they like to store their tackle and that, that what appealed to us with this system is like you said uh, rick is the is the modular aspect of it you know we've been launching these g boxes the the, the, the uh, utility uh, cases that we have and we've got a wide variety that we're offering. We're actually offering two new ones this year, two deep versions, the 3200 deep and the 3700 deep. But we sat in the office one day and played around with all the different configurations we could do with all the G boxes and how many different ways you could fit different things in there. And there were so many ways. And originally, we were going to put out a video or some type of something to show people how many options there was. Well, there were so many that it would, it would just get <laughs> overwhelming to somebody to watch. So <laughs> we're just going to leave it up to folks' imagination and their, their creative style of how they want to store their tackle. Indeed. Uh, well, hey, and then the underspin head uh, is, is, is really a cool deal. Yeah, you know, that's really another thing that uh, we're really excited about. It's a, it's a premium hook. You know, it's a premium gamakatsu hook. It's a four-aught hook that we use on that, uh, that underspin. So it's a little bit of a larger underspin. And uh, that's why, uh, you know, in, in, the, in the Southern California market, that, that uh, coastal waterways and those types of things, even for, you know, freshwater anglers, it'll ha accommodate that bigger. We want to make sure we can keep that gap there to where you have that bigger, bulkier bait that you could make sure you still had enough gap on the hook uh, to, to ensure a hookup. So uh, these things are great. They fish really well. They track good they the blade spins awesome even at slow speeds and it's just a it's a it's a killer setup so you put your favorite plastic on the on the, on the hook and then you have that underspin uh, and and it just adds more uh, more uh, enticement to the the lure let me add one more thing Absolutely. to that yeah is uh obviously gamakatsu high quality hooks high quality components you know swivels and things like that what we were surprised on was it was lesser expensive than the competition so better hooks really better hooks and lesser expensive than a lot of the other stuff that was out there so we, we were blown away by that one ted well good deal good deal we're working hard on it and uh it's also got the spring lock which is pretty cool because that spring lock when you spy the when you spin your plastic on that 
um, it holds really well. So you get those short biters, uh, uh, fish biting tails. It really helps you kind of preserve your plastics and keep you in the game and fishing longer rather than, you know, messing around with changing baits all the time. Indeed. And then uh, last but not least, we're going to talk about today is the Assist 720 HD. What a hook that is. Holy mackerel. Yeah. That was, uh, that's a big boy. Uh, we had a lot of assist hooks. And, you know, quite truthfully, uh, I'm going to tip my hand here a little bit. We got more coming. Um, you know, that's a, that's a style that was, uh, that's was that been very popular in Japan for a long time. So they, they're, they're really, uh, quite frankly, they're a long ways ahead of the U.S. market in, the, in how they apply those techniques and the little styles and different styles of hooks. So we've got a lot more coming. But this one, the 720HD, is a, we just want the biggest, baddest assist hook out there. You know, we had demand for those big, big cow bluefin those big, big fish, and this one really answered the call. This is a 10 aught through a 12 aught hook, and the connection is it's a it's a it's a four strand uh, uh, braid, but it's a 880 pound uh, combined strength. So the the idea behind that is, as you guys well know, is that surface area is really important to keep that larger surface area because that's a lot of times where that fish can you know where that shaping can come through uh, on the on that, and so that bigger diameter is going to really hold up on those big fish. Yeah, and and if you want to add a really heavy duty hook to your flat fall jig that assist 720 what a great what a great option exactly exactly yeah. and so we're like i said we're we're really excited we're so happy that the, you know with all that's going on in our world today that the fishing's at least uh, guys would be able to get out there and go fish and we're excited about the products we're bringing to folks to make that experience a lot more fun no oh, well ted if somebody wants more information on gamakatsu how do we get it uh, gamakatsu.com and i also want to add congratulations on 20 years 29 years. 29. 29. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're 29 starting years. our 30s. I know. I really, I am that old. I really am that old. Been a, you know, Ricky's been here since he was like 13 years old. 25 so. years. And how old are you now? 38. 38. <laughs> Holy mackerel. I'm dating myself. Yeah. Well, well, I know we've been a, we've, 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 uh, we've been a, uh, uh, we've really enjoyed the relationship we have there and look to maintain that for, uh, for the, for the near future is there for the, for the future. And, and they look forward to, to, to many more uh, years of doing this with you guys. Yeah. Well, we, we hope so too. And Gamakatsu has been a great sponsor for uh, gosh, going on uh, a dozen years or so. Right. It's been a long time. Yeah, so it's we're, been a long uh, time, and, uh, and we, we appreciate uh, all the support of, of Gamakatsu and all our sponsors because we wouldn't be here without you. So thanks, Ted. Appreciate that very much. Thanks for all the great information on the new product, and we'll look forward to the next call because I know there's more coming. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right. Have a great thanks, day, Ted. guys. See you, thank, buddy. Thank you very much. And I want to throw out, too, um, thanks to all the people that are e, uh, texting us. Uh, uh, congratulations on our 29 years, Ricky, cool. and uh, uh, and uh, uh, we sure appreciate all those and, and and thanks a lot for the nice kudos for everybody for our, our anniversary today. Um, we do have uh, Doug has sent in a text uh, with multiple questions here. Wow. He said, <laughs> yeah, multiple questions and, uh, and a congratulations too. How do I get the deal on the line winders? First question. <laughs> Take my money is the second question. <laughs> and then how's Ricky's arm doing? Is the third question. So, so first of all, how do we get that? Basically, uh, basically you can can just get in touch with me by phone, uh, either at the office at 310-817-5145 or on my direct line at 310-710-5431. Or you can I'll be, I'll be you better, honest with you. You better hurry, Doug. I, I saw Darren during the break. I'm very putting, down, uh, putting down a bunch of names here, and uh, we're probably down to our last five. Oh, my. Out of 20. <laughs> out of 20. <laughs> out of 20. Okay, so, so get uh, on it. Yeah. Just go ahead and, and reach out to me. Uh, I want to be able to take care of all of your listeners uh, with respect to this, this promotion. So, you know, just get a do hold of soon. me and do it soon. Yeah. And uh, we'll get this all wrapped up, and we'll be in touch with everybody come Monday. All right. That's very cool, good. Darren. And how's Ricky's arm? Uh, arms are doing good. Yeah, yeah big, way, are, way big improvement this th- things week. Things are moving along. I could make, uh, you know, do physical therapy like three days a week, but I made a fist out of my left hand. That was, that was like a really big deal the other <laughs> yeah. day. So, uh, right cast potentially might be coming off as soon as uh, as Tuesday. Left one, they told me I probably got about another three to four weeks. But yeah, things are coming along really good. And that was really nice of you to ask. All right, very good. Mark is on the line. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Pete. Happy uh, 29th Wheels. anniversary. Oh, oh it's I, uh, Wheeler. Yeah. All right. We didn't know which mark it was. We just, saw, we just saw Mark up there. What's up, Wheels? Hey, good morning. Hey, 
Hey, Rock God, uh, I remember when you got dropped off, I think you had a note on your collar that it was that you could go fishing with me or something like that. <laughs> I was going to say, I've been fishing with Wheeler, I think, before I could drive. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that was, that was a few years ago. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely and, a couple hey, years uh, ago. Congratulations on 29 years. You know, with Ford dealers advertising and the San Diego County Ford dealers, we're just so proud to be part of uh, the Let's Talk hookup. Uh, advertising team and uh, you know we've got all these great products that uh, that that help your anglers get out to the, the fishing grounds and uh, just couldn't be more happy for you all of you guys uh, Rick and Pete with uh, with the success of your show thank you Mark That's and cool, yes Mark. San Diego County four dealers and you have been a tremendous help to us and uh, frankly without guys like you we, we wouldn't be here for yep. 29 years and you guys have been a tremendous support and, and for over 25 years which is really fantastic and uh, we're looking forward to many many more with the San Diego County Ford dealers Mark I got to throw something out about the Ford product too when we did our uh, our big honeymoon trip you know the first half of our trip um, we flew into Montana and we drove around and fished all the different uh, you know rivers in, in Montana, and uh, we rented a uh, four wheel drive uh, Ford Ranger, the new Ford Ranger. Worst worst thing we could have done ever. I'm for sure buying one of those from Encinitas Ford for sure. I loved it. I, I was so surprised at the at the truck, and uh, I I've uh, for the last couple of years I've I'm, I'll always have my Super Duty. I need to be able to tow my boat. I need that kind of stuff. I couldn't believe how good that truck rode. It rides like a car and gets better fuel mileage than my commuter car does anyway so that's my next purchase i'm coming to see you to get one of those new rangers ford well, knocked it out of the park for that you thing. Want. I, I was out in the desert with my raptor and one of my buddies had a ranger and we're just doing all of the anza borrego stuff the ranger is unbelievable that truck is so good. Truck. Yeah, I, I'm really impressed. It's small. It parks easy. It's got all the new cool Ford features. I really, really like that thing. That's my that's my next big purchase. Do you have them in stock oh, at Encinitas Ford? And for your listeners, uh, we also have the new Broncos coming that oh, uh, cool. are, are going to be f- unbelievable. You know, the, the uh, off-road capabilities and yet all the creature comforts that uh, everybody wants. And so it'll put us uh, put us squarely back in that market, and they're they're going to start coming in in January. So that'll be another exciting product for us and, and your listeners. Wow, and then fantastic! I got to get back out and get some more of those big tuna. Yeah, he, so yeah. Get, Mark's uh, got the fever. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's got bluefin <laughs> fever for sure. Well, Mark, hey, thanks a lot, and uh, we sure appreciate all your support of uh, of Let's Talk Hookup from the San Diego County Ford Dealers. You and all the guys at San Diego County Ford Dealers. And by the way, happy pre birthday. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll never be as old as you, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got you by a year, for sure. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate that, and uh, appreciate right, the call this See morning. See you, Mark. All right. right. Let's, That's fun. let's go ahead and jump back you, in the phones. Yeah. You got it. I got him by a year. <laughs> well, the phones are packed up. Let's do that and talk to John. He's calling us from San Diego this morning. Hi, John. <clears throat> Welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. Good morning, guys, and happy anniversary. Thank you. Thanks, John. I wanted to ask the the rod manufacturers, uh, you know, there used to be fiberglass and there was uh, graphite and then, you know, composite materials. What's going to be the next material to be the hot material for uh, rods? You know, that's a good question. That's, that's, a, that's a pretty tough question, actually. I, I think what you're going to see is um, there's going to be a tremendous amount of work that's done with the resin systems using uh, used with the carbon fiber or the fiberglass fiber. One thing that hasn't been uh, really explored is some of the some of the ways to create greater strength with lighter weight and so i think you're going to see some of the some of the brands start venturing off into those areas um we saw that back in the gosh the late 90s when gary loomis really started to become a thing when g loomis really started to become a thing and and um he was using some very unique materials i think you're going to see that sort of evolution again uh, as we go forward from here. The, so much has already been done with the materials that are common now to right. recreational sports. It's where we start to use aerospace materials again that are un, uh, unused right now 
for our fishing rods. It, it's it's going to make things lighter, stronger, smaller. You know, it, it, all that stuff is going to really start to take place. So. All right. Hey, great, great question. That was great cool. question. Thanks a lot for the call. I do have a, a, a text uh, question from Mike in Mission Viejo. He says, I have the Sato line winder and it's cool. Uh, great setup. My question is about the reel seat. It seems uh, it seems that what size reel or speed I load the reel, eventually it works loose during the loading process. Are there any tips to prevent this? There there are certain things. I, I'm There were different versions of the Sato winder for from when it was initially released to now. Yes. Uh, if you have one of the winders that the actually uses the original style real seat attachment, maybe what we need to do is talk to you about uh, upgrading to the current model where there's cam locks for the reel. Okay. Uh, that part, that one part in and of itself will help the situation with your your reel backing off. Let I have make- one of the older ones, and I uh, Gary during the day sent me a little uh, insert to put underneath to make it a little tighter, and that seems to work for me. I'll, I'll throw another suggestion out too: is the uh, spending an extra minute um, on uh, lining up your reel, like getting position, oh, yeah. so that that Very important. I, I think that what happens to a lot of people is oh that's good enough, and they start winding. But then when you put a lot of torque to it, you want the I mean, correct me if I'm wrong but you want the center of your uh you know of the basically the the winder the handle right in the center point of the of the screw that locks the reel handle on that i that's, think spending that's absolutely alignment right. is kind of everything i think that's what i'm trying that's to say that's absolutely right uh in and <laughs> People can actually use this with their rods as they're setting up to go fishing. It's not just on the line winder, but it's on your rods. Sometimes the real foot will actually engage with the real seat cocked off to the side. And once you start winding on it, all of a sudden it's broken free from that, that friction point. So as you're setting up your reels, you want to you wanna actually twist it uh, a little bit tighten up the real seat, twist it a little bit more, tighten it up a little bit more, and finally it'll be set exactly where it needs the way to be. You and make go. sure that yeah. drill more, is dead center. Yeah. yeah, and the more torque you put on it, the harder That's it's what I'm be. saying. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, uh, good question. Thanks a lot. Hey, when we come back, we got more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. We're going to find out who's got themselves a brand new Sato line winder. <laughs> more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way in the Let's Talk Hookup app and radio network. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, Calstar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest it's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the Calstar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend Calstar at fine tackle stores everywhere. Hey, it's time for the 30-second Power Pro Seminar. Here's the hot tip for those of us that like to fish with small reels for big fish. Fill your spools with Power Pro Max Quattro. It's 25% thinner than standard Power Pro. That means you're going to get more line on that small reel. Plus, you can fly line your bait more effectively. Here's another tip about Power Pro Max Quattro. Your casting distance will increase in addition to increasing your spool capacity. So downsize your tackle and use Power Pro Max Quattro. Check PowerPro.com for more information. It's a fact. Shimano produces some of the finest fishing reels for our Southern California sport fishing. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle. We have a complete selection of Shimano saltwater reels like Talica, Speedmaster, Trinidad, Torium, and Tranks reels. Plus, we have all the best Shimano lures like Flatfall, Colt Sniper, and Orca. Our professional saltwater experts at Fisherman's Landing Tackle have the know-how to help you choose the right Shimano product for your next trip. When it comes to Shimano gear, you owe it to yourself to visit us at Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego or on the web at saltwatertackle.com. Fisherman's Landing is the top choice in local and long-range fishing. Our hard-working crew will maximize your fishing experience. We offer the finest open party trips, the best charter boats available, and our world-renowned long-range fleet. Fisherman's Landing is a full-service sport fishing operation offering great half-day, full-day, and open party trips. Book online at Fisherman'sLanding.com. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. 
All of us at the American Angler family want to express appreciation to our regular passengers that fish with us year after year and to the new anglers that came out this last season. We realize how precious your vacation time is, and we are truly grateful that you have chosen to spend this time with us. It's important that your experience is memorable, from the moment you call the office to the time you step off the boat. Hi, I'm Lori. Call me at the office, 619-223-5414, or check us out at AmericanAnglerSportFishing.com. Come fishing with the American Angler family and make a memory. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. All right, the big winner of that Sato Line Winder. Congratulations to Luke in Gardena. Luke, congratulations. You are going to love having your own Line Winder at the house. Congrats. Indeed. And Darren, real quick, once again, if somebody wants a deal on the Sato Line Winder or any of your products, how do we get a hold of you? All you've got to do is just contact me at my phone. My office number is 310 310- uh, 817-5145 or 310-710-5431. All right. Very great, Darren. Great, great job. Too. Appreciate yeah. all, all that you do and appreciate all the great stuff this you make great. for anglers, for sure. Tomorrow on Let's Talk Hookup, Rod Halpern from War Heroes on the Water. Going to be here. Uh, excuse, excuse me. War Heroes on, on Water. Going to be here tomorrow morning, 7 and 9 a.m. Thanks a lot to uh, Thomas in the studio and, of course, Adam on our app. And we'll see you tomorrow morning right back here on the Let's Talk Hookup app and Radio Network.